I'm Keith Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we're taking a closer look at Green Arrow number 16. With his enemies all around him, Oliver Queen will need to decide where he stands. What'll happen next? Let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? All right then, so following the fallout of the previous issue, Imiko, Oliver Queen's sister, is back in Seattle now and packing a brand new superhero named Red Arrow. Holly's not exactly sure about the new moniker. I mean, he's been calling his sister Imiko for so long now, it feels weird to finally give her a code name all this time later. <laughs> Surprised he didn't push one of the names that no one has had for a bit. Hey, wouldn't you rather be Speedy or Arrowette? Arrowette's a fun name, maybe even Artemis. Now what the bulk of this issue really deals with is Team GA trying to track down and take out the rest of the Vice Squad. It would seem that the base of operations for these fanatical dirty cops is actually an old airplane hangar complete with a bunch of police-issued military surplus. A nice little wink and nod to the over-militarization of police forces in America. I mean, come on, they got freaking tanks right here. Who needs tanks in an urban setting if you're not a giant supervillain? Now, what's cool about this issue is that Chief of Police Westberg has actually joined Ollie and the team every step of the way on this one in taking out the Vice Squad. The way he puts it, you know, these dirty cops give all the good cops a bad name, and the only way you can defeat a bad cop is with a good cop. Nodding gives yet another wonderfully deranged speech this issue, talking about how he never had any faith in the Seattle PD, but he had always hoped Green Arrow, a vigilante who worked outside the confining nature of the law would respect him for what he's doing. This leads to quite possibly my favorite moment of the entire issue when Green Arrow fires back against Nodding by talking about how horrible killing is and how you could never truly keep a place safe through fear and murder. Also, I know I complain about the Arrow TV show a lot, but I really like that this panel pretty much reads as one giant rebuff of the TV show Arrow. But, you know, it also works really well as a screed against heroes killing in general. In the end, the united force of all the heroes end up saving Saving the day, Officer Westbrook even goes one step further into helping defeat Nodding once and for all. The Vice Squad's many crimes are laid bare, and Green Arrow is once again a hero in the eyes of the people of Seattle. In fact, he's feeling so good about his new place in life, he decides to do something that Oliver Queen, a guy who has almost always bucked against authority, has never really done before. He likes this Westbrook guy, he thinks he understands him, and because of it, Ollie actually reveals his secret identity to him in hopes that Green Arrow and the police force can move forward forward into a brighter future together. But hey, because this Emerald Outlaw storyline isn't over yet, you just know this story can't have a happy ending, can it? All in all though, Green Arrow number 16 I felt was a really strong issue, one that struck a chord with me from start to finish. On one hand, it's a celebration of Oliver Queen and Green Arrow's new extended family and all the good they can do together when they fight side by side. Ollie really gets to affirm quite a few of his stances, and even show a fair amount of character growth right there at the end. The book also looks positively sweet with some of the bigger group scenes and fight panels being probably some of my absolute favorite from the series so far and that's really saying something because this book has looked beautiful from issue one onward. Overall I would give this one a very positive 9 out of 10 and as always I cannot wait to see what Benjamin Percy and company do for the next couple issues. Hey everyone thanks so much for watching my newest video I hope you enjoyed it and while you're here why not check out another video I have on offer or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.